Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about how to make your MacBook a little bit more secure when browsing a public Wi-Fi network. Now, if you have a MacBook or an iPad, you've probably been in the situation where you're browsing using a public Wi-Fi network. The problem with these networks is they're not secure. Your information is sent in the clear. In other words, all the characters are just visible over the wireless signal. So people can use other computers and various pieces of software on the router and in all points in between to see exactly what you're transmitting, what you're getting from the websites you're visiting. So if you're doing something like say checking your email or updating Facebook, that means they could see exactly what you're doing. Now it's always best to avoid open public Wi-Fi networks for this reason. Maybe to use a network that has a password because at least that means the data is encrypted that's being sent through the air. But a lot of websites also have another solution. You can use HTTPS. The S stands for secure. You see this all the time when you say you're going to pay for something at an e-commerce website. It'll change to HTTPS and you'll see a little lock symbol in Safari meaning that the data between your browser and the website are completely secure and encrypted. However, if you're doing something like just checking your email or updating Facebook, it may not be secure, but you can force it to be. So for instance, here I am inside of Twitter and you notice that I am surfing Twitter using HTTP. So all this stuff is sent in the clear. Now I can add the S myself manually and you'll see the page just reloads and I'm actually now securely surfing Twitter. You can even see the lock over there. So now all this data is being sent to and from the server encrypted and can't be read over a public Wi-Fi network. Now doing this manually isn't the best idea because you're likely to forget and of course usually go to the website first and then you say oh better add that S to it. And not all websites support it. But some of the major websites not only support it but have a setting that will force HTTPS if at all possible. So for instance if I go to my Twitter settings I can look all the way at the bottom of the Twitter settings and I will see an HTTPS only setting. If I turn that on, then I don't have to worry about it again. Anytime I'm surfing Twitter, it will be encrypted. Same thing is true in Facebook. If you go into your Facebook settings under My Account and then you look towards the bottom of the page, you can see an ex account security section. Expand that and you've got the option to set it to browse Facebook on a secure connection, HTTPS, whenever possible. Another site is Gmail. This also has under Settings, under General, a setting right here for always use HTTPS. So there's really no reason why you shouldn't have all of those on if you use those websites. And also look at some of the other websites that you use all the time and see if they've got a setting to always force HTTPS. And some websites don't really need it. Like for instance, I noticed when surfing around on Amazon, since it's an e-commerce site, I seem to just about always be in HTTPS and certainly whenever I was checking out or accessing my account information. So there's just one way that you could be a little bit more safe when using a public Wi-Fi network. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.